Hi everyone, I'm Kristen. This is Wimbles of My Hair and today I'm going to show you how I do some fringe hair in the front. I love it for updos, which is great because I have this giant scrunchie to show y'all. I think it's my favorite thing this summer and it's really, really hot here in Los Angeles. So I'm definitely putting my hair up more often and obviously I'm not doing a lot to it. So I want to just work on keeping the front a little bit softer on my face and getting all my heavy hair away from my neck and my back because y'all know what the heat is like here. It's like so humid now because of global warming. Um, that's like the worst thing. That's the biggest change. For some reason, here in Los Angeles, the humidity has got completely unreal. And I've lived here for most of my life, so I feel like there's a drastic change, you know, like overnight almost. And I was, I was on a TV show, working on a TV show, I think it was CSI or something, and the girls were sitting out front, not the actors, but they were just, um, it was like lunch or something. And one of them said to the other one, it's so much more humid now. And the other girl was like, I don't really know what humidity is, but it does feel different. So that was kind of spoken like a true Californian, maybe someone from Death Valley or I don't know. What I'm thinking, but definitely it was drier than here. But when I lived like in the desert area, that was a long time ago. I do believe in global warming um, because this is totally different. It's like the tropics here. Um, not that that's bad. That's where people go on vacation. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you how I trim my bangs. I am not, um, I feel like I like stuff a little bit less perfect when it comes to the hair around my face because I don't feel like my face is like super pointy or perfect or something, you know? So I just kind of leave things a little bit soft and uneven. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, let me get my scissors out. That'll help. I am back. Here's my giant purple comb. I love a big comb. I'm just going to get... There's a couple tricks to getting the bangs to fall. And one of them is just to kind of bang the comb against the hair and like the bangs will fall out like that. Ooh, nice. Okay. I'm just going to tuck it. I think I'm going to add that little hair. I think I missed it last time. I have a lot of different shears for just bangs. Just my regular ones that cut straight across and my thinning shears. And a feather razor. So these are what I like to use. Like I said earlier, I like a lot of texture and it takes a lot of tools to make texture. So that's why I have three different tools. I love a big comb. It just gives me more control. So first I'm just going to... This is just fringe bangs, you know? It's like the tiniest little maybe a quarter of an inch I like to go from bone to bone and I just pinch it together because I like it to spray out like that and um, you know I could be done that could be done but I'm gonna add a little texture Hold up. These are my thinning shears. They look like crocodiles teeth. I go about halfway down and I just, I'm just going to do it once because since they're so light, they already look wispy. And every time I go to grab it, I can always like feel like another hair there that I don't know, got away or something. So I like to go back over it. So that's a little lighter. I don't totally feel like I need to feather these with the um, feather razor. 
but I'm just gonna do a little bit on this thick side. There we go. Oh, yes. I think that any kind of bangs, look at how, how does that happen? You just get this little extra. I guess I didn't clip it good enough. All right. So, I like it fringy like that. That's really nice. I am going to curl it a little bit just to make my day. Okay, so I'm just using this Hot Tools. I'd say this is about a one inch barrel. And I'm just gonna gather up my bangs and go super fast or else you'll get the bar right there. And I do like how that piece, see it gets a little bit longer and that's from pinching all the bangs in together when we cut it. So it's a little bit of my eyes, which I like. But this is like doing stuff here, like I'm doing stuff all day, so I don't totally want that in my eye. Voila. I don't know what the problem is with um, with doing our hair in the morning. Like if you have a lot of hair, it just feels like oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. And if you have like a little bit of hair, you prob probably feel, I don't know for sure, but you probably feel like, oh, I'm just gonna pull it back because, you know, it would take too much work to make it fuller. But keeping this fringe in the front and, you know, a little bit of design around the face is kind of good for every day. Here's like a section I like to keep out. Maybe I'll curl that too. I like to keep a little bit of the hair around my face, always. I'm into these kind of longish pieces right now. Ooh. So it is always good to brush your hair. Um, obviously I have not brushed my hair yet. So I'm just gonna take the time. Overall, I'd say we've spent maybe three minutes on this, so Time-wise, I don't think it's a big deal. The thing about, you know, scalp sensitivity in that, that really decides which brush you're going to use, especially in the morning. Mornings can be tough. If you are noticing a lot of scalp sensitivity, it's really good to get a softer brush than this. This is more of a detangler. Everybody kind of has this brush right now. It's like just that wet to dry detangling kind of brush. Hmm. It's nice. It actually wakes me up to brush my hair, so it's kind of helpful. You know, I shouldn't really blow this part off like I normally do. And it's important to get the ends. I have long hair. Ooh. But you know, it's cute, but it's really hot. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put some of this Garnier Fictis um, into my like ends and stuff. Not on the root or anything, but just around here. Just because it is summertime and the sun is really super drying. And you saw what my hair looked like when I started, it's super dry, so. It gives us more control too when we do the pony. Okay, now this is the Scrunch Ahoy. This is so hard to do, like. I'm just gathering, gathering. Now you can stop there and get a bun or whatever you like. But the hair passes through so much easier with this Garnier Fructis trick. So if you get stuck a lot, you know, and you're always getting the bun when you really want the pony because your hair gets stuck in there, 
try that for tea. So it totally works. So I'm back, I put it up a little bit high and I just put more of the fictice in it and I kept this piece out. What to do with this piece? Well, you can tease it. It's a little shape in there. You got your bangs popping. And then I'm gonna curl it, but I really just wanna, there's a little bit of the fictice on my hands that I'm gonna rub through it. Oh, look at that. So it's super dry. Maybe my next video should be a hair mask. So how I wrap is different all the time. Today I'm going to do it towards my face a little bit. Just tilt it. It can be a little bit different than the other one. It creates more movement, you know, if the two sides are a little different. I kind of like this smooth thing going on. And I'm going to go over my wispy bangs again. Ooh. Just kind of breaks things up in there. So this is it. I basically can do the whole day with this. This bang doesn't bother me right here. Some people it bothers to have any hair on their face, but I like a little bit, so I'm used to it. You can train yourself. You just have to do it, like leave it a little piece every day, and then you can train yourself to get used to that feeling. And yeah, you could, it's basically gonna be nice and cool for the whole day. Um, Try, try these bangs out. You see if I go like this while I'm driving or something, I'll still have these bangs. So if I'm at a stop sign and someone wants to chat, I'll still look cute. <laughs> Another look that I like with these bangs is when I put my glasses on I'm a professor. I'm, I'm a cute professor. Or I can put this right here and be sexy professor. <laughs> Ooh, must put more Garnier.